Hi guys, let's see today's question. So today's question is based on the idea of geometric progression. First, let's understand the question. Then we'll see the concept and we'll see the solution of that question. So the question that is given that says A, B and C are some positive integers such that B upon A is also an integer. And then it says if A, B, C are in geometric progression, so these three are also in geometric progression and the arithmetic mean of this three A, B, C is B by two. So arithmetic mean of A, B, C is B plus two. And they are asking us to find the value of A square plus A minus 14 upon A plus one. So we need to find the value of this expression which is given to us. So this is the question given to us. Let's understand the concept first and then we'll see the solution for this question, right? Starting with the concept first. Now, when do we say that the terms are in geometric progression? So we say that the terms are in geometric progression when the ratio between the consecutive terms is a constant value, right? So here, if you understand this, if I have the first term as let's say A, and if my constant ratio is, let's say for example, if I keep it as R. So if I need the second term in this case of a geometric progression, I'll write it as A into R. So basically if you now take the ratio of the second term to the first term, it is a common ratio R. Now, if I need the third term in the same case, I'll multiply my previous term by R again. So it becomes AR square. Then the next term becomes AR cube and likewise, right? So the nth term in this case will also become A R raised to N minus one. Now, first of all, let's understand why for the nth term we get N minus one common ratio constants. So if you see here, if I talk about the first term, you have no constant ratio. So no R is present. So zero R's are there. For the second term, you have one R. For the third term, you have two R's. For the fourth term, you have three R's and likewise. So whichever term number I'm talking about, you have one less R, right? So for the nth term, we have N minus one common ratio constants present here. So this is the sequence of geometric progression where the ratio between the consecutive terms is a constant value, right? So now if I start off with the question first, it tells me that A, B, C are in geometric progression and also they are positive integers. So if I want to write A, B, C in geometric progression sequence, I can write A as A. I can write B as A, R. I can write C as A, R square. So they are in geometric progression now. A, B as well as C. Now, also they have given us that B by A is an integer. That means if I write B as AR and A as A, I get R is an integer value. So one more conclusion I have drawn from here is that A, B, C are already given to me as positive integers. And apart from that, I now also know that the common ratio which we are multiplying to the previous term to get the next term is also an integer value, right? So now, if I further move ahead, it says arithmetic mean that is given to us as B plus two, right? What is arithmetic mean? Arithmetic mean is nothing but the average of the three numbers that we are calculating. So I'll add the three numbers, A plus B plus C, dividing it by three, that's equal to B plus two. Now here, if I, Further do solve this, it gives me a plus b plus c is nothing but 3 times b plus 2, that is 3b plus 6, right? So if I now replace those a, b, c with the numbers which we have put it in, a was a, b was a into r, c was a into r square, 3 times of a into r plus 6. Now if I further reduce this idea, that gives me a r square. 
plus AR and plus 3 AR if it comes here becomes minus 3 AR. So it becomes minus 2 AR plus A equals to 6. So here if I take common as A from the entire left hand side what I am left with is R square minus 2R plus 1 is equal to 6. Here if I see this I can see this is a perfect square a square minus 2ab plus b square I can write it as r minus 1 the whole square that is equal to 6 by a right. So I have come to a conclusion that says r minus 1 the whole square is 6 by a. Now if you further understand this idea we already know r is any integer and integer minus 1 the whole square is a perfect square. So basically the right hand side also that is 6 by a also needs to be a perfect square as well as an integer value, right? So when I need a perfect square as well as an integer value for this fraction, so the only possible value I can have for this a is 6. So that the 6 by 6 becomes 1, which is a perfect square as well as an integer. So the only possible value of a I have here is I can take here as 6. So if I now find the value of the question which was asked to us that says a square plus a minus 14 dividing it by a plus 1. So a square plus a minus 14 dividing by a plus 1. Here if you understand a was the first term in geometric progression which is nothing but a only and a we have received it as 6. So I can substitute the small a as 6. So 6 square plus 6 minus 14 and 6 plus 1. So 36 plus 6, 14, 42 and 42 minus 14 is 28, 28 by 7, this is 4. So the value of the question which was asked, value of this expression which was asked to us comes out to be 4. So 4 is the answer for this question. I hope you have understood this concept of geometric progression well. Please do like, share and subscribe if you found this really helpful. We'll meet again tomorrow with the next question.